Hey, what's up? This video is for people who want to write a screenplay but don't want to purchase a script writing software. So this is just a Microsoft Word template that you can use that I used to use before I started using uh, screenplay software. I'm going to show you, first of all, before we do anything, first thing you have to do is you have to go to this website and there's going to be a link to this website uh, below this video and when you see the download button just click on download and you're going to be taken to this page and you have to click on this I want this button uh, but you, it's not going to work unless you put a number here and you can put zero that's fine and then you can type in I want this or you can put a different number if you want that would be fantastic if you do but if you it's fine if you put zero and you put zero in let's see and then you say I want this and you have to type in your email address and then type in and click get okay and it's gonna download it for you alright so now I'm gonna assume that you have downloaded this file so when you open up the file it's gonna look like this it's going to have these uh, shortcut keys to different format options in a script. So a script will normally look like this. We're going to write this script here. I'm going to show you how. If you don't want to use these shortcut keys, there's something else you can do. And we're going to get to that later. But in case you want to open that window, just click on this thing right here. Also, I wrote this a long time ago using Microsoft uh, Word 7, which I still use. And so if you have Microsoft Word 7 or upwards, this file should work just fine. All right. So for now, let's start. Let's just go through this, okay? I tried to make it as intuitive as possible, given that most shortcut commands on a Microsoft Word are taken. I can't use Control A, uh, you know, for or Control N for name, because Control N in Microsoft Word will just open up a new file, right? So I had to make, uh, you know, Control Alt N for name and P for parentheses. Anyway, let's just go through this, and you'll understand how we can write a script real quick. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to, it doesn't say it here, but let's just do it anyway. We're going to do a, like a cut or a fade in, fade out. And that's control alt shift C. So you control alt shift C and you can say fade in and hit enter. And it's going to remain in the same format so we have to change it because now we have to go to the scene heading okay so for the scene heading you're gonna have an interior or exterior that's how it's gonna start so I just chose control alt I so control alt I and it goes straight to the beginning so just bear with me T it's going to be bold and capitalized. You don't even have to do anything. And Jack and Jill's home. Let's just say day, because afternoon is wrong. And then hit enter. And now we're going to write the action sequence, right? So what's going on? So I couldn't do Control Alt A because it's taken over by something else. So I just thought I'm going to do Control G as general action. Okay, so the control alt G and we're gonna say Jack and Jill are chilling on the sofa on the sofa in the afternoon having tea Jill is reading the paper while Jack surfing channels enter now we as you can see it's in the same format as action 
so we have to make it a name which is control alt n so you go control alt n and all you have to do is type in jack it's capitalized for you hit enter now we are going to go to dialog so control alt d i'm going to be a great director one day control alt n for name for jill's name jill control alt d for jill's dialogue that's great honey Control Alt N for Jack's name. Control Alt D for Jack's dialogue. I bought a new red camera today. Control Alt N for Jill's name. Control Alt P for parenthesis right here. Let's move it up a little bit. So head continues to be buried in the paper press this close Jill's dialogue control D oh yeah with what money control N for Jack's name control D for Jack's dialogue I sold the car Should I sold my car Control N for Jill's name. Control P for parenthesis. Alarmed. Control D for Jill's dialogue. You what? Control N for Jack's name. Let's move this up a little bit. It's all. Uh, oh. We're still in the same format, so we have to go to Control D for Jack's dialog. It's all right. We'll use your car. Control N for Jill's name. Control D for Jill's dialog. But I sold my car. Control N for Jack's name. Control D for Jack's dialog. You what? Let's move this up a little bit. Control D. Uh, Control N for Jill's name. Control D. Oh, Control N again. Enter. Control D for Jill's dialog. I needed money to pay for acting school. I'm going to be an actor all right so that's all you have to do and if you don't like doing this control alt stuff right so then let's say you just write in Microsoft Word normally like Jack says what does Jack say like That's a terrible plan. You're crazy. Why would you do that? Something like that. And Jill says, You're the one who thinks he's going to be a great director you're the nut okay and let's say you wanna you don't want to do all this control alt stuff so then you just go here and then say okay name this one go dialogue name dialogue okay and then you can come here and then say I'm going to cut or fade or whatever and then you say fade out okay so that's it
that's all you have to do this is the template I used to use before I started using Final Draft but you know if you can afford the 250 bucks or whatever they charge nowadays uh, then go ahead and buy Final Draft it's not a bad software it's pretty good but you know if you're just starting out or and if you just want to see hey listen I just want to write my script and I want to want it to look formatted then these margins and all these things are I you know looked them up I verified them there is a let me see here there's this website here it says you know what the margins are supposed to be from the edges and uh, you know I just made them look exactly like what it says in this on this website there's gonna be a link on this to this on the uh, down below okay you can find this page out for yourself but anyway so if you like this great I hope you uh, leave a comment below subscribe or you know donate um, at the download site if you find it useful best of luck with the script